topic for today is charging a refrigerant or topping up for our AC air condition in the ship this one is the compressor number two and number one we have a two system one and two this is the direction from the evaporator going suction to the compressor going to the condenser this is condenser slash receiver same at number one this is condenser and receiver receiver means that is the the freon it receives the freon or the refrigerant receiver is store the refrigerant this is the isolation going going to evaporator condenser going to evaporator after the condenser pass by to the solenoid and then this is the solenoid after solenoid is expansion valve this is the expansion valve and then going to evaporator expansion valve going to evaporator this is the solenoid the solenoid is controlling the the flow if the temperature temperature reach certain set point it will close and then the refrigerant or the freon is going to the receiver this is the expansion valve this manual is photocopy only so that we can explain and write on it this is the evaporator evaporator going to compressor that is our system we don't have a interconnection to the system 1 and system 2 Okay, that is closed loop same in the system one compressor going to condenser condenser going to expansion valve to evaporator back to con compressor this is the the black diagram so that we can plane properly we have here this is the solenoid expansion valve and evaporator compressor condenser evaporator expansion valve same in number two or system one and system two compressor condenser this is our system no interconnection number two system and number one about the solenoid we have another video about the expansion valve and how to set the temperature solenoid is controlled with a temperature transmitter
example this is the tank R404A this is our refrigerant we need to charge a liquid refrigerant to our system close after condenser the valve after condenser then we have here a dryer before the dryer there is a charging valve that is for the liquid during charging charging a liquid refrigerant close the, af, the isolation valve after condenser and then open the liquid liquid line for our bottle R404 before you connect check the side glass and if the charge is the normal charge is one half or three fourth that is the loop close the after condenser and then the pressure on the bottle going to the system and accumulate to the receiver slash condenser this is our refrigerant bottle R404A this is new and we need to connect the charging hose at the top is the gas at the side is liquid ok first thing to do connect charging hose and then you need to bleed open slightly and then bleed so that the air will will gun at the charging hose after we connect only hand tight At the end, you connect to the isolation bulb. Isolation bulb for charging line. This is the charging liquid. Charging for liquid refrigerant. This is located at before filter dryer. All connectors are hand tight. slightly open to bleed or to purge the air okay after we bleed also you need to bleed at the at the valve this is the charging valve for liquid you need to use ratchet tools designed for refrigeration this is refrigeration ratchet spanner next step close isolation valve after condenser this one and then uh, the compressor is running it will accumulate all refrigerant at the condenser slash receiver After you close isolation valve, our compressor starts sucking all refrigerant and put to the receiver. Right now the pressure gauge at the low side is getting lower and you wait for the low suction pressure switch to trigger shutdown. And then starts with opening the 
liquid valve at the bottom okay we will wait for the low suction triggered right now our compressor is still running and then almost triggered okay low suction triggered and the compressor stops next step next step you open liquid charging valve this line the yellow line is already pressured up because our liquid liquid valve at the bottle is already open right now the pressure is starting to rise up after that you will wait the compressor automatically run but you need to check if the anti-recycling time is triggered once the low pressure is triggered automatic the program of the compressor activates the anti-recycling time our recycling time is all, almost 20 minutes other system is 30 minutes but you if you need to run this compressor press stop and then turn off the breaker inside the control for breaker then turn on after that the recycling time is reset press stop and then start again press start okay right now compressor is running and and start to activate low suction just wait until low suction is triggered the compressor automatically turn off and then until recycling time is activated but you need to wait until the pressure is rise up and then to reset the anti-recycling time you need to turn off the control again and then press start do this three to four times to ensure the level at the receiver is at the half to be safe start stop about three to four times until the level of side glass at the half to be safe okay and then close the liquid charging valve much better if the last cycle you turn close the bottle and then suction by the compressor so that there is no refrigerant at the hose after that open this bulb already open and then secured our system is running right now go that is going to evaporator and then this is going to evaporator then from the evaporator this one going to the suction of the compressor this is two pipes from evaporator this is recap this is the bottle liquid bottle because this is closed when you charge the pressure of this bottle going to this dryer this is the charging valve and then starts to build up build up the pressure pressure after it build up you start again you start after this compressor starts it will suck all all refrigerant coming to this condenser after that it will suck the refrigerant going to this one condenser it will stop the low pressure and starts to build up again about four times 
so that the level of the side glass is half to be fair and then lastly the last cycle when this compressor is running just close this bulb so that all of this refrigerant is empty and then after this compressor stops with the low suction triggered close this bulb and then open this bulb so that the pressure is rise up again and then start the system the additional additional information anti recycling again sub, set about 30 minutes for this system if you need to start again just turn off the control power and then press start anti recycling time is activated during low suction low suction is triggered okay that's all thank you if you learn from this video click like share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates and follow us on facebook barco tv thank you very much